whoever packages this one is to get into this thing. Yeah, they... Yeah, so let me get the scissors. You were not recording. Are you recording now? Okay, I got that stupid box open. We had the Realme GZ Neo, so... Yeah, this this is like very epic. Let's put this thing. Here we have the sim, sim ejector tool. We're going to be needing that. They really do care about this back. I think in here's your case. Okay, this thing's on the other side. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Dang, this fancy. phone. This phone is a lot smaller than, than the um, nice. Patrick. This is going to feel so nice in the hand. Really easy. I think that's all that's in there. And you got a really nice, a nice long um, power cord. You got a plastic back on it. Which I, I kind of like this. It's just a really nice soft touch plastic back, which I really like. And look at this phone, it's really nice. Oh wow. Give me some kind of charge. It's going to be very interesting using it. Oh, I, I, I like the way this is set up. Oh my gosh, everything has. <laughs> I mean, they called Japanese on it, or Chinese, whatever, in which it is, so. I'm just gonna put this case on it too, obviously. Oh, that's a really tight fitting case. Yeah, that's a tight case. I'm just gonna leave that off for now, because we're gonna do some work with that. And in the bottom of the box, Wow, that's a big brick. That must be. I think this is the 50 watt. Um, yeah, make sure this is a 50. This is the 50 watt, as they call it, super dark charging. Oh. And if you didn't know, mainland Asia and the U.S. use the same type of wall plug, so that's always nice and handy. So Europe and India use the same type, and China and U.S. use the same type. And Cool. Salt box. So when you get those epic Chinese uh, style wall chargers, they work here. So that's pretty awesome. Man, that's a big brick. Yeah, it's got to be at least 45 or 50 watts. Yeah, this is it's 50 watts. Oh, wow. Nice. And I am, and I don't know if this is a gallium charger or your standard or regular charger. This must be gallium charger because I don't think your standard power brick can get up to that power. So well, that's all that. And then of course, real me is owned by what, like Oppo possibly? Uh, I think so, right? It's like I think so, yeah. uh, Oppo. Right? Got the camera quality on here. Okay. So there's quite a few options on the camera. Have it super pretty nice. Oh, so I think this is just for regular, I guess. I think I see two maybe some of Yeah, that looks nice. So, we have one microphone, two microphones. Three microphones. Where's the play for a set? Yeah, only three microphones. The best part about having a plastic back is it doesn't get any fingerprints at all. That's always the best part about these plastic bags. 
And where's the where, where's the USB? No, that's not a microphone. That's just so well, one top microphone and one bottom microphone. And, you, and that's where you're. And here you just see this where you reach out to. Of course, not expandable storage because what company has an expandable storage nowadays? Well, let's be careful putting that in. Well, it's a dual SIM, but I don't know if the second SIM acts as a micro SD card slot or not. Probably not. They put stickers all over there. It's some kind of QR code. Oh, time to get this all set up. That's gonna happen. So, no, so you didn't order any, any screen protectors for the thing yet? Please. So that's just gonna be just a very quick unboxing of the Rumi GT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's, so let's go and kind of be the star of the experiment to see whether the Divinity or or the Snapdragon chips are gonna be better. So I think this the Rumi is a is a bit smaller. Feels a bit better on the hand too. So it's gonna be interesting to see see which one performs better because, like I said, I can't I can't charge this thing fast without it feeling like it's gonna explode. Or, so I should, I hopefully should be able to charge this phone at 50 watts if I need to quick, quickly charge it and it should feel like it's gonna explode and there shouldn't be any random freeze frames. So so it's gonna be interesting to to, to see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on maybe another unboxing. I don't know.